Hi grade 9. So in today's video, we are going to continue with our lesson under accounting equation. So please make sure that you watch the entire video so that you will understand a better principle than the previous one that we introduced on part 1. Okay, so here we have our example that we are going to do and this is the table that we are going to fill. So we have a different kind of table that you can be given to draft out accounting equations. So please make sure that you know all of them. However, the principles that apply behind, they are still the same. Okay, let's do the examples that we, are, we have for today's lesson. Example number one. On 1 January, Timen, the owner, contribute 10,000 cash for business to run TT entity. So the first transaction is all about the owner who contributed a capital amount of 10,000. Now we have to draft this transaction on our accounting equation. Remember, we use the, the principle that say that our assets increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side and when we go to equity on the debit side our equity decrease and increase on the credit side okay then liability is the similar with equity because on the debit side is a minus on the credit is a plus so this is the principle that we are going to apply is the same principle that we introduce on part a so guys each and every transaction we have to make sure that we identify two components out of those two components one must fall here or both must fall here or here or here okay now let's identify the owner contributed capital which means that number one we have capital how did the capital been uh, contributed in terms of cash which means that it's a bank. All right. So which means that in this case, we have two components, which is bank as well as capital. We have a bank and capital. As we know that our bank is an asset, which means that we have identified the first one as an asset. Capital is equity, which means that it's going to fall here capital then the amount is ten thousand all right now we want to know which one are we going to debit which one are we going to credit as you can see the business now have more money because the owner contributed which means that our assets has increased which means that assets increase on the debit which means that we have to write bank on the debit once you debit the other one you credit capital we are going to credit because the worthy of the company equity is the worthy of the owner the worthy has increased increase on the credit side okay which means that now when we come to this side we have to say assets of 10000 has increased you have to indicate a sign okay equity also has increased okay liability not affected number two on two january new equipment purchased on credit by five thousand the owner has purchased equipment which means that the first one is equipment which equipment is an asset okay the first component is equipment and the second one will be creditors control because we didn't pay for this equipment we purchase it on credit which means that creditors control will be second components which means that in this case we have equipment and assets as well as creditors control which is liability we owe someone because we still have to pay this five thousand which means that in this case our assets is going to increase equipment on the debit side is going to increase and liability is also going to increase because we have to pay that person later on okay it's creditors control okay we're gonna say plus five thousand and plus five thousand equity is not affected in this case because the components that we have is an asset and liability number three 
a new vehicle purchase cash by 700 vehicle is an asset and cash is a bank is an asset which means that in this case the account that has been affected is only assets because bank is an asset vehicle is an asset but one must be debited and one must be credited vehicle come inside our business because we purchase which means that vehicle has increased on the debit side vehicle and then bank has decreased because we take money and pay for the vehicle our assets decrease on the credit side okay which means that in this case we're gonna say plus minus amount of 700 okay 700 minus 700 this two is not affected in this case all right now let's go to number six or transaction that happened on six inventory of 800 purchase on credit number one we have inventory which is an asset credit is liability which means that our assets has increased because we purchase inventory inventory come inside our business okay we're gonna debit inventory and liability has increased creditors control amount is 800 is gonna be plus 800 and plus 800 to indicate that our liability has increased okay now let's go to number seven tt entity sold inventory of 1200 cash to customer we sold inventory to customer which means that in terms of cash and the customer we call it sales which means that in this case we're gonna have sales as well as what bank okay we receive money because customer pay us which means that our assets bank has increased okay sales is equity all income must be recorded on the credit side and expense on the debit side okay which means that sales will come to credit side because it's income okay and we say amount of 1200 with plus okay and with this side we're gonna say plus 1000 200 okay and then the next one the last one they said equipment purchase on credit by 5000 has been paid to supplier okay in this case it simply means that uh, the equipment that we purchase has now been paid equipment purchase on credit by 5000 is this 5000 has been paid all right remember when we record this uh, equipment we indicated that we still owe them okay which means that now when we record is going to be a minus on liability to indicate that we paid money a liability decrease which means that even our bank because we pay through cash bank is going to decrease now let's come back to this one simple we are going to debit what a creditors control to reduce what liability creditors control and bank to indicate that money goes outside the our business all right so it's very simple as that case so the principle that apply in accounting once you know accounting equation you know the whole accounting why because this is the same principle that apply when you do a balance sheet i want to i want to i want you to 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 to, to do something and tell me on the comment section if you get it right as you as you know the principle of balance it it says assets equals to owner's equity plus liability please add all assets that we have here the one that have minus subtract them and add owner's equity and liability and check if they are equal these two assets equals to owner's equity combined with liability 
you're gonna get the same amount this side you will get the same amount with these two try it and tell me on the comment section thank you so much for watching guys please don't forget to subscribe like this video share with fred so that they can learn as well uh, thank you so much guys thank you for visiting accounting solution sa see you next time